Hello and welcome back to the Mole Valley Maker channel. <clears throat> Got a slightly different video for you today. Um, if you watched my last video you'd have seen me uh, turning some seam rippers and I thought I would do a quick uh, chat about the kits that you can get and then maybe leading into the other type, uh, me turning the other type of kit that I bought. So uh, the idea for this actually was inspired by Paul Lockwood. Um, many of you may have watched him, I will put a link down to his channel in the description. Uh, Paul's doing a review of some of the uh, pen suppliers that are at least allegedly UK based. Um, whereas I'm not, this is specifically going to be really much about one supplier which is penkitsmal.com um, penkitsmal.com appears to be their main website they do also have a presence on Etsy uh, I think AliExpress um, and quite possibly some other suppliers because when I tell you the part numbers uh, you will see that some of the other websites that allegedly are UK sellers use the same part numbers. Um, let's talk a little bit about penkitsmal.com first. Uh, they're probably really set up as a wholesaler, so you do have to put in a reasonably sized order. It's not as bad as it might sound. Um, first top obstacle is that you have to register account and log into their own website. Um, this appears to be completely safe. I've now, I think, had three or four orders from them. I've seen no increase in spam. Um, there's a weekly newsletter, uh, and that's really about it in terms of actually dealing with the company. Uh, when you log in, all the prices are in um, American dollars. Um, you add the items to your shopping basket, tell them the uh, continent you're in, the country you're in, and then it will provide a shipping price. The shipping price varies quite erratically, uh, and I think it's down to the weight of the item. So, hence, a quite a weighty deluxe pizza cutter. Um, the postage seems to be quite a lot more than, say, on a single uh, pen kit. Uh, so you've got price, you've got shipping, you've got um, a small insurance charge, not 100% certain what that, what that is about, and you have a PayPal commission charge. So being based in Hong Kong, uh, they choose to charge you back the commission that PayPal charged them. Um, but it still seems a very economical way of buying pen kits. Uh, delivery time, um, the last delivery which I had in December, uh, that would be December 2023, uh, arrived in about 10 to 12 days. So, there are two types of seam ripper kit. Um, the one on the left here, which is the effectively the 632, so that would be rz hyphen pk 632 hash dash and then crh for chrome abp for antique bronze or g for gold they sell that in three finishes and for your money you get a longer tube um, so that's about 95 uh, 95 millimeters long which uh, I don't know, is about three and three and three quarter inches, and you get two. Um, you get the seam ripper. Oh, actually, you get a large seam ripper and a small seam ripper. That's interesting. Sorry, looking at the other ones, I'll show you the other ones in a minute. Uh, so that's um, two sizes of seam ripper, and what happens is they effectively just push inside like so. So you imagine 
that section in the middle has got your piece of timber this is probably what I will demonstrate turning next and then you just take out the ends you want turn it around and then that would be the end that does the business so that is the RZPK632 and the chrome ones are um, I'm filming this in January 2024 on their website when I looked yesterday and printed this out they were $2.75 um, I can't remember exactly how that equated but when I work out the individual prices of the items I do it on a percentage basis so the extra charges of the shipping, the insurance and the PayPal commission I just divide up percentage wise with each of the kits so nominally for me I think that cost about £3.27 uh, it takes an 8mm drill bit to uh, drill through for the tube okay the next one is the RZPK91 and that has a very slightly shorter tube which is just a little bit under 80 millimeters so that's a little bit over three inches say three and a quarter inches and this one does come with a stiletto which is just a single point and the small seam ripper and these are the ones you saw me turn in the previous video uh, using the coconut blanks now the way this works is it comes as a pen so you have a single tube the clip would push in the um, in the end of the tube uh, exactly the same way as if it was a pen and then you would use whichever one of these you want at the time pushed in the end the only flaw I see with that is you always have one piece that has nowhere to live so if I was using this then this would just be floating around somewhere so hence what I did was bought spare tubes uh, and the tubes RZ-BT91 are 36 and a half cents I calculated that with all the uh, extra charges to be about 43 pence um, I did away with the clip I chose not to use the clip but you could use uh, you could order a second clip even um, they are all available um, clips are available sorry yes I'll come back to that clips are available in antique bronze gold or chrome and about 81 cents so that's going to be about a pound uh, the RZ the 91 kits, this kit here, is available in gunmetal, antique bronze, gold or chrome. I bought the gunmetal ones, which were listed at $3, just over 50 cents, uh, and I calculate that to be about £4.19. Um, bushings, RZ-PK91, hash, dash, BU, uh, $1.11, uh, I worked that out to be about £1.34. Um, with the brass tubing, extra 43 pence. There is another way you could actually do this, because if you chose not to use this like I did, you could actually buy the stilettos or rippers as you wanted, and they um work out one dollar sixty two uh, for and there is another finish as well if another two finishes copper gold chrome or gun metal uh, just over one dollar ninety three is what they call um rainbow i think it 
can't remember why it's called WC, but it's a kind of it's an anodized, multicolor anodized finish. And then the antique bronze one is one dollar eighty two. So you could just buy the seam ripper and a tube. And that's gonna cost you was about three dollars, though a little bit cheaper. Um, there are all sorts of options and when you go on pen kits mail the biggest problem you're going to be I think is not spending too much because the number of pen kits they have pizza cutters, graters, cheese knives um, brass hammers all sorts of kits and you, you'll see that a lot of these kits are very very similar to other kits that are available elsewhere uh, so I think that's about it on the kits. Uh, they seem quite reasonable quality. Uh, the other spare that I ought to mention is available. These little silicon O-rings that they... So these here are little silicon O-rings and they will provide the friction fit to keep it in the brass tube. You can buy spares of those. They work out about 12 pence each. Um, so could be a good thing to keep in your toolkit. So I think lastly, the last thing I want to say before I actually get around to turning one of these is that they do come with a fairly decent set of instructions which once you're logged in with an account to the website you can download so you can have a look at exactly what they are suggesting you do. via that and each kit has that uh, some of the kits do refer to pit, uh, parts that don't seem to be available anymore um, especially some of the closed end kits talk about uh, an inflatable pen mandrel um, which isn't available they have a different type of um, closed end mandrel um, but that's that's not for the scope of this video so um, I'm going to do this style of video for some of the pen kits I've got from them as well uh, but for now here's the seam ripper selection of two seam rippers they do other seam rippers as well um, but these are the two I bought and I'm going to leave that there and leave you with a short turning video on the pen mandrel today is a piece of um, plum, uh, local plum, literally probably less than 100 metres away from me um, and it's uh, going to be turned into the double ended seam ripper kit. Uh, let's crack on.
Hey, and welcome back to the workshop. Um, obviously, this will be seconds after you've watched me turn one of these three, I think. Um, so I thought I'd leave you with some final thoughts, really. Um, they turn easily enough, same as any turning with a pen kit and bushings, really. Um, I made life slightly complicated for myself by using coconut because that's a uh, it is quite difficult, chippy wood. Um, this one is oak, much easier, and this one is plum, damson plum, which um, again, you know, nice easy fruit wood if you can avoid the odd crack you get here and there. But some nice colours in the in the plum. Um, one thing I did find that I thought I'd share with you: if you use a barrel trimmer um, to square up the ends you do tend to end up with a little bit of a burr on the inside of the brass tube and a small round diamond file just to take that burr off is really helpful but then you've got on the double ended kits you've got two different sizes of seam ripper And then with the single-ended kit, because uh, the previous video you saw, me, you saw me do a bit of kit bashing where I turned them without actually using the uh, pen clips, left me with two pen clips. So with these ones, it's the small uh, seam ripper and the stiletto. And this set obviously now comes with two handles, both with pen clips. Overall, I think quite good, uh, quite good value. Uh, whether they sell or not remains to be seen. That obviously will happen when I'm next at markets. It's currently January 2024. I don't have a market until March. Um, sometimes these things can take a year to sell, but we'll see what happens. Uh, overall, yeah, I think they're decent kits, decent money, um, and I'll move on and be reviewing another kit from Pen Kits Mal in due course. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.